guys, Ryan with Fluid Health and Fitness. Today showing you how to do a Lang Supine Elevated Suspended Hamstring Curl. I'm going to use two exercise bands today anchored from the wall. Again, this is just a vertical uh, bracket that we have installed here and then two 50 pound exercise bands. So you can use this on a TRX strap or another suspension system, but ultimately um, the band tension is going to be a little bit unstable, so it's a bit of a proprioceptive challenge. And again, we're going to be doing just a basic bridging. So it's the same setup as a dual stance movement or hinge movement. Um, but again, just with a little bit of a challenge with the instability of the band. So we're going to lay down. You're going to anchor your feet in these straps. So right on the heels. Again, the bands are equal tension. And again, I'm in a supine position meaning upright, and what we're gonna do is keep the knees slightly bent to start. Now again, you can feel the band, band tension there right away, so I'm just kinda getting a sense of how my body's gonna respond to that, so push down a little bit, just to feel where your hips are at. Now again, first thing is to center your canister, stabilize the joining segments, and then move from the limbs, so we're always gonna go center out. Remember, breathe all the air out. Lock up your abdominal wall, squeeze your pelvic floor, and again, I'm gonna br brace first through the glutes, pre-contract my glutes before I move. And then I'm gonna use the glutes to push my hips up into a bridge. And then at the end, I'm gonna pull back through the heels into a knee flexion or hamstring curl. Now at the top, I'm gonna breathe in, maintain my abdominal tone so I don't lose my ab tension. And I'm gonna slowly come back down. Now as I come down, I'm controlling the glute contraction and making sure I'm keeping the tension in the proximal extensors, not just the hamstrings. So let's do that again. We're gonna set up again, breath out. Notice I'm not touching the ground, so it's elevated the whole time. Again, engage the TVA, lock the ribs down, squeeze your pelvic floor, pre-contract the glutes, bridge up. See how high you can get up? And then pull back into a hamstring curl at the top making sure that as you do so, you don't lose your glute tension. Breathe in and slowly allow the knees to extend and the hips to flex back down to the floor. And again, just don't let the butt touch, okay? So big takeaways, make sure again, you keep your canister stable at the top when you breathe in. If you feel instability, one of the hips will drop down because you don't hold on your ab wall. Make sure you keep your glutes contracted the whole time so don't allow the muscle to let go, especially at the top when your myotatic stretch from your flexors kicks in and makes the butt want to let go. And as you pull back into your hamstrings or from your hamstrings, do you relax your glute tension? Don't let that happen either. So this is again about controlling the proximal uh, hip um, and keeping it stable despite the influence of the hamstring. So again, you're holding on that glute tension as you pull back make sure that you can control it on the way down. So questions on it, let us know. Admin at fluidhealthandfitness.com, but otherwise, laying supine, elevated or suspended hamstring curl or bridge hamstring curl.